because I'm curious to see, can you outrun your past? Because I've said before many times on this podcast, I find it really odd when people, you know, get into Alcoholics Anonymous or they get sober and shit and they start apologizing to people for the bad things that they've done when they were drunk or they're under the influence and they force people to try to forgive them because now they're a better person. I'm a big believer that sometimes in life, you only get a chance at a first impression once. And sometimes through your own bad decisions, through just the bad influences, through just a mistake, you can do something or say something to somebody that can make them hate you forever. And it's their prerogative, it's their right to hate you forever. Doesn't matter how you changed, if you've accepted the Lord in your life, if you become religious, if you went to live in a mosque or a, mon or, or a monastery or become a monk, it doesn't matter. Some people are allowed to still remember you the way they remember you and say, you know what, get fucked. I, I don't want anything to do with you. Leave me alone. That's a perfectly reasonable way to approach things. So I'm curious today in this era that we're living in with social media and stuff, I wonder, is it possible to be Andrew Tate and maybe you got into stuff, imagine, maybe Andrew Tate got into the content, gen content creation game by first getting into it, by doing all the cam girls and running whorehouses thing and quote unquote human trafficking. Maybe he did that. But then along the way, my thinking is along the way, he realized he was quite famous and doing quite well, getting a lot of traction by being the, you know, the men's rights, men's um, uh, manosphere type of dude. Then that side to make more money. It was less risky, right? And he switched over. That's what I think probably happened. Like Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels started off by doing loads of content, focused on kind of trying to teach men how to be men. But then he realized the only things that was getting traction on social media was when he went on, went on live stream and started shouting at girls. So I wonder... If Andrew Tate did the same thing, he was maybe doing the bad shit that he's been accused of, and then along the way he changed, but now the bad thing's catching up with him. Big up Abby Martinez. Tate inspired me to stop doing drugs, bro. Yeah, of course. That's good. Amazing. That's what I'm saying. Good. Big up Abby Martinez. Hopefully, hopefully you're not joking. But if you're not joking, then I'm sure Andrew Tate has been helpful for some people. But I'm just curious, as an observer of the internet, I'm curious if it's possible to outrun your past. Can you rebrand to the point where your past doesn't matter? Is that possible? Because Jordan Peterson had a very interesting impression of, of Andrew Tate that I was actually surprised by. I'm not going to lie. Let's see what he says about Andrew Tate. Opinions on Andrew Tate and the masculine movement happening in young men across the globe. Well, I really haven't said anything about Andrew Tate, and I probably won't tonight. But, but well, I'll, I'll make Hello, a few guys. comments about the Andrew Tate phenomenon, you know, I would say, is that the mystery is, there is a mystery in relationship to what Andrew Tate, man? and the mystery is, why is he so popular? And I, I think the part of the reason he's so popular is because he, he doesn't easily bend a knee, so to speak, mm -hmm. you know, and... It isn't obvious to me that he doesn't bend Rise the knee of the because of his stellar moral character, but because I'm, I'm, I'm not particularly, what would you say, impressed by what he's done on the sex business front. Mm. It, it seems to me a bit on the pimpy side, let's say, <laughs> and I'm not a great admirer of pimps. So that was a really astute and good observation of Andrew Tate, and probably where I sit with it. I don't really buy into everything that Andrew Tate is evil all this bad stuff that social you know the mainstream media put out but I'm also not a dummy you know like the charges that you're being presented and again the charges he's been fucking charged with and stuff and the sketchy past and whatnot it looks like there's something there right that, where there's smoke there's fire where, where there's fire there's smoke whatever the fucking saying is right I'm fucking I'm, I'm doing the fucking Rogan but I'm curious to see can you outrun your past that's what I'm curious to see because most likely he did that shit he needs to do in the past. Then he changed. That's my own opinion. I think he did the crazy shit in the, in the past, which is hard. People underestimate. Not underestimate. People, because I probably watch a lot of crime documentaries and I read a lot of books on this shit. Human trafficking and stuff is like a really dicey industry. It pays a lot. It's very, very lucrative. But it's a very crazy, dicey, almost sick, dark world. It really is. Like literally, you know, basically turning people into cattle. It's fucking wild. But I'm also aware that maybe people along that way could decide to be a content creator and realize, oh, I'm making just about as much money as I'm making smuggling fucking girls from Lithuania into the into fucking other parts of Europe. Maybe I should then start doing this because I'll get less heat for it. 
maybe that happened but now you know he's having to fucking face some music because in some parts of the world or in life in general doesn't matter how much you know new content you put out and how much you've changed sometimes your past is your past and you have to be accountable for it actions unfortunately have consequences actions unfortunately have consequences so let's see how it plays out for him let's see how it plays out 